All right, now we're back. Just had to reset my dashboard for some reason. It wasn't even tied to XSplit. You guys here yet? Nope. Oh, hello there, Brigand. I see you want to go. Quit dodging me. Bastard. Uh, there we go. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> Alright, well, if they're not showing up, let me go grab the potion here. Pretty sure something's following me, but I don't really care. Just trying to end the game at this point. Got my dispel potion. So that's done. Uh, let's see, I still have those two healing potions that I've never used. Uh, two stamp potions. I should probably give it to the flowers. Let's see, is there anything else I really need to finish up? No, I'm pretty sure I got everything. Yeah, yeah, centaur smiles, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's see here. Back in the graveyard. Alright, what time is it? Still mid morning? Crap. Can I rest? Sure can. Alright, save again. In case of crash. <laughs> and they're still not here. Oh, guess we're going to fight a Saurus. <laughs> and of course he has nothing on him. If you'll excuse me, I am picking up rocks to fight off boredom. You stupid soon to me bount. Also the only mount in the game, if I remember correctly. Well, in the series, I should say. That'll be in the next game. Of course I can't rest, you rat bastards. 
check our stats. Come on, you guys, be here already. Why you gotta be like that? It's still mid morning. Okay, plan B. Wait. Nope, not fighting you. You're boring. I have something else in mind. Just go back to our favorite uh, hunting spot. Dare you hit me, sir? Of course, I guess that's what I deserve for unresponsive combat mechanics sometimes. We'll be able to rest after that. Uh, let's go back. All right, graveyard. Save again. There they are. I think they tell you the password enough times. All right, let's see if I can hit him. Oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> uh, not for the crappy part. Of course I can't rest right now. Save again. Now, if Bruno catches us, it's insta death. He'll hit us with a dagger, and it's pretty much game over. But let's try and go over there. I mean, if this fails, eh, we can reload, waste some time. Yep, he's already gone. Search the body. Now you can choose to fight him. You don't have to stealthily kill him, as I did. But I just prefer to do it that way. And, of course, you get your dagger back.
And of course what they were talking about was uh, there's the main way in and then there's a the back way in. I always take the back way in. There's no really no point in taking the front way in. Shut up, Antwerp. You're friggin' annoying. Alright. Unlocked it. Now we have to say hide and go seek. Now he's gone. Thank god, that's friggin' annoying. Uh, let me save here. Uh. Basically, it smells like it looks like a cave. Surprise! Now, if you are a thief, you can stealth past him, climb over the gate, and never fight him. But we didn't take stealth at the beginning of the game, so. Not that throwing a dagger at him really does anything. Yeah, basically, this is all you do to fight the Minotaur. Straight on bed. Hey, there's money in the flail. All right, I need stamina potion and a health potion would come in handy. Save again. And let's climb the fence. Oh gee. Can't quite get over. Eventually we will. There it is. Okay, now running is probably a good idea. We need to... Crap. They're going to be shooting arrows at us the entire time. Now that you know it's there... Can't do much with... Whatever. Alright, now comes the uh, weird part. Now you have to stand here by the door that you just closed, and you have to close it. Or else they just walk in and you insta die. Wait for them to walk away. Now we move the chair. And we just stand here. And wait for the Three Stooges. And look, it really is the Three Stooges. Push over the candelabra. Wait for them to come around the table. And boom.
And now this is the quote unquote warlock. Basically says, oh, you're here to save people? But he doesn't actually let you through. You still have to do the stupid maze. Which reminds me. And go through this door on the right, pull the chain. Go back through. Don't bother trying to approach him, it doesn't work. Click on that door, then walk away, much like the hermit. Open the door. There's the bandit leader. And you just immediately grab the dispel potion and splash it on her. And yay, it's Elsa! And she's no longer cursed, she had no idea who she was, blah 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 blah. There's healing potions on the desk. We're trying to get in. Just take the mirror. You don't really need the healing potions. Don't bother trying to take anything else because basically the brigands will break in and kill you. And now... We go back to Baba Yaga. Brown, now sit down. And just because there's only one last thing to do, I'm going to save. It's really suck if it crashed right now. And we want the magic mirror. Turns me into a frog. Oh wait, magic mirror reflects the spell. Bam, now she's a frog. And she kicks you out of the hut. And now the hut flies away. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> and it crashes. Wow. 
Talk about saving at the right time. Oh, that's just funny. Uh, no, not have fun storming the castle. Back up. Uh, reset the sound and all that. I hate that it does that. Luckily, the next game it won't do that. Alright, walk in. Go into the backpack, grab the mirror. Make sure you click it on her. Then you wait. Back into a froggy. Oh! Boom. Oh, she's a big purple frog. Alright, now, will it make it past this point? There we go. Now you can go around the room clicking on people, and some of them, you know, it's people who worked on the game. There's Erasmus, the purple wizard there, but you'll see random people from the game. There's the Baron, the Baronet, and the bear and the daughter. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, the goon. There's Abdullah Du and the Kata. The weapon master. Uh, the chick that sells magic, even though we never went in there. And here comes Yorick doing his little spin move. there you go. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty easy and short game. Of course, from here on out, they may take more than a day to for me to complete, but we'll see what happens. And there we go on the magic carpet as we go towards Shapir for uh, Quest for Glory 2 which I'll be playing the VGA remake of that as well. Of course, they want you to play as the other two character types. Maybe the puzzles are different. Not really. Or have alternate solutions. That is true. Um, Alright, i got to save my export. Uh, I should probably do that thing as I've already played through and I don't want to copy over. Alright, do you wish to try? Do I need to try saving again? I don't think I need to try saving again, but I should probably check. import was a success. And now you get credits. Which I will let roll. Because these people worked hard for, it was like on this game. Were there problems with it? Yes. You know, the combat system sucked. Like, the combat system in 2, honestly, is probably the best in the entire series. Because it's 
there's more of a reason to use all of your abilities and um you know, especially in the remake, you learn more abilities as you get better at stuff. Like, you learn how to counter after you block. Um, you learn how to do a leaping slash after you dodge somebody. Um, you learn how to attack three times instead of once. You know, there's a lot of stuff to it. Granted, it's not, you know, as complex as games today, but... Uh, it's not bad. So yeah, we didn't go for the full 500. I didn't really care. Um, you know, most, it was like a lot of stuff. It was me skipping conversations. Uh, I didn't go see Erasmus. Um, who is kind of a big uh, deal in uh, the entire series. Like, he's pretty much, you know, the guy that gets you involved in a lot of things. Um, but if I was playing a wizard, I probably would have gone to him. Or a magic user for this game. But, uh, yeah, that's it. And, uh, thank you to those who joined me for the stream. I will be doing this again tomorrow with Quest for Glory 2. And uh, I'll be starting at the same time, at noon. So, if you guys want to come back, that's when I'll be here. For those of you watching this on YouTube, that's when I'll be here. Of course, tomorrow being October the 30th. Or Tuesday, if you choose to look at it that way. Um, <laughs> and I'll be starting at noon, Eastern Standard Time again. Uh... And hopefully I'm looking to play through all five of these games and then probably move on to something else uh, as we're still kind of waiting for Star Wars The Old Public to go free to play. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you next time.